my friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and today I'm here with a reading for my Taurus friends for April 2023. Uh, we're going to find out what the tarot says that Taurus might be receiving as blessings in April, what challenges they might have to face, and what actions they should take to make uh, April the best month ever. Now, let me start by saying this is a general reading, so everything I say may not apply to you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. The cards do depict uh, males and females, but keep in mind that they are depicting energies uh, and not um, genders. So we all embody masculine and feminine energies at different times our lot in our lives. So um, these cards are for everyone. So today I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti and it's a lovely deck. I think you'll enjoy it. I'm also going to, at the very end, I'm going to do a yes no question for you um, using the Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle by Athena Noctua and so be thinking of your yes no question and we'll answer that for you at the end. If Taurus is your sun sign, um, be sure to check out the readings for your moon sign and your rising sign, as those will also um, probably have some very good information for you as well. Oh, and your Venus sign too. All right, that being said, let's begin. Spirit, what blessings can Taurus expect to receive in April? What blessings can Taurus expect to receive in April? What blessings? There's three. All right, thank you. I'll do this way. All right, thank you, Spirit. What challenges might Taurus have to face in April? What challenges might Taurus be facing in April? What challenges? There's one. What challenges? might Taurus be facing. All right, there's four. And thank you, Spirit. And what action or actions should they take to make April the best month possible? There's one. What other actions might Taurus take to make April the best month possible? All right, there's two. All right, good. Got a lot of actions there. And the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. Oh my gosh, Taurus, that's your card. The Hierophant, that's something special. So it looks like um, April is going to be a big month for you. Let's just take a general look at the cards. We've got the Lovers, the Tower, the Hierophant, the Hierophant, and the Hermit. So that's four Major Arcana cards. Now, in case you don't know, Major Arcana cards uh, speak to the main themes in our lives, to lessons we're here to learn, and uh, major transformations we might be going through. So this looks like it's going to be a big month for you, Taurus. Now, the Minor Arcana cards are important also, but they are more everyday happenings. So let's look at your blessings first. So we have the Seven of Wands. All right, so this card is often um, often pictures a person besieged by attackers. Now, in this one, you can tell that this person is in a position of advantage. Okay, yes, the other ones are coming toward him, but look, he's here. He's surrounded by um, uh, it looks like a a, a wall. Uh, area of protection. He's in an area of protection and he is looking strong and ready to go. So one of the blessings you're going to have is that you are going to be in a position of advantage during April when it comes to any kind of conflicts that you're involved in. If you're involved in any kind of conflict, expect yourself to be in a position of advantage and able, well able to handle whatever happens. All right, we have the Two of Swords reversed. Um, the Two of Swords is often a card of um, difficulty making a, a hard choice. It is also um, sometimes a card of blocking out the things you don't want to see or the people you don't want to be around. Um, but 
this card is reversed in your reading. And so I feel like it's saying that you are going to be able to pinpoint the correct choice for you. Um, the moon is showing, moon always um, usually represents something that's hidden. But in your case, this is telling me that you will be able to see the truth in the matter and you will be able to make a correct choice when you need to. And that is going to be your blessing in April. And then we have the Six of Cups reversed. Now the Six of Cups is a card about nostalgia and about, um, you know, remembering the past, fond memories and that sort of thing. Sometimes it's about meeting up with a person from your past that you haven't seen in a long time. And it's reversed. And um, what I'm hearing is that you are going to come across someone from your past that maybe you were not very excited to see. You're going to meet someone from your past or have something come up with your from your past that you are not excited about, that you are not happy about it. But know that whatever this meeting is, whatever this memory is, whatever this happens, whatever comes up from the past, there is a blessing in it for you. All right. This may be a hidden blessing or a blessing in disguise, but whatever comes up from the past to visit you in April or whoever comes from the past to visit you in April, and that's going to bring a blessing, a blessing in disguise. They're going to bring a blessing. So even if you don't see it at first, look for it. It will be there. The challenges that you're going to face in April, we have the Seven of Swords. This is a challenge of someone. You see the little fox there? The person looks like he's stealing. Okay, this is, the challenge is going to be, you're going to find that someone has either been dishonest with you, has betrayed to you, has betrayed you, um, has lied to you, or has stolen something from you. Okay, your challenge is to deal with this in April. So um, you're either going to have to find out who it was that was dishonest or to deal with the dishonest person or the thief whatever the case may be. Um, we have the lovers reversed. One of the challenges may be in your love life. All right. You might be facing um, a, some sort of relationship challenge. And you know, I hate to say this, but this relationship challenge might involve dishonesty. It might involve betrayal. But it may not be a love relationship. This could be any kind of a relationship with someone you love. This could be a family member. This could be a child. This could be, and it could be a romantic relationship. So um, there's going to be a challenge there in April. And there's going to be something very, and this is a major arcana card. There's going to be something very unexpected that happens out of the blue that throws you for a loop. You are not going to see this coming. This is going to be something totally unexpected. And it is going to cause you to go back and look at your foundations and what you've built on. Okay, you're going to be able to see where your foundations were weak, what you were built on, what that what you built on may not have been as strong as you thought it was. Okay, and that's going to be one of the challenges that you need to deal with in April. For some of you, again, this is a general reading. This may not apply to everyone. Um, the Tower is a major arcana card, which means um, this is going to be a big deal in your life. This is going to cause you to restructure an area of your life. It may be your love life. It may be um, your family life. Something unexpected and big is going to happen um, if this applies to you. But like I said... Uh, everything I say may not apply to you. All right, and then the Five of Pentacles reversed um, is going to is about a financial challenge or a spiritual challenge that will arrive in April, and um, the thing to remember about this challenge, and again, this challenge may arise because of this Tower moment as well. Um, 
But remember when this Five of Pentacles challenge arrives. Now, this could be a financial blow. It could be um, financial scarcity. It could be spiritual scarcity or um, some sort of physical um, problem that arises. It could all have to do, this could all have to do with this tower moment. But know that it is within your capability to correct this situation. There's help available for you. So keep this in mind, okay? All right. What actions should you take, Taurus, to make this the best month possible? Well, we have the three of wands. And once everything hit the fan, hits the fan, the only action that makes sense is to start planning for a new future. Okay, start planning for what you're going to do in the future, where you're going to go, what it's going to look like, um, when you your challenges will be challenging you to um, begin something anew, to uh, rebuild, and this is where uh, planning for your future comes in. The action here, we have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is all about an ending. So something's going to end, um, but you can see the sun coming up. It's getting light in the background. So even though there may be an unpleasant ending in some way, in some instance of your life, uh, remember to take action on the new start that is coming for you. The new dawn is coming. You've got new plans for the future. You need to look forward. Um, to uh, starting something anew. And the biggest action you can take that's going to help with everything in April that's going on for you, which looks like it's going to be quite a lot, is the Hermit. This is a major arcana card. The Hermit tells you, spend time alone, go within, and seek your inner wisdom. Your inner wisdom is there, whether you access it through prayer through contemplation, through meditation, you need to get in touch with your inner wisdom. Oops, sorry. With your inner wisdom, and there is where you will find the answers that you seek. And finally, at the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant, which is your card, Taurus. And um, the Hierophant is all about tradition. It's all about um, group... Uh, like group mentality. It's about education. It is about learning. It is about the connection between heaven and earth. All right. This is big stuff, um, Taurus. And chances are that your experiences in April will remind you of this, will remind you of the traditions you hold dear. It will remind you of... Um, the groups that are there to support you, whether it be a church or a, a synagogue or another um, type of group, the, that your group will be there to support you, that the heavens uh, will be there, you know, your source is there to protect you. And then there's always learning. So no matter what happens, we can always learn something from it and we can always um, find some type of teaching also to help us through whatever it is that we need to get through. All right, Taurus, that, it looks like you're going to be busy, busy in April. Um, a lot going on. So um, I wish you all the best with that. And um, if you have thought of your yes, no question, I am going to mix up these cards. I want you to concentrate on your question. I'm going to give you three cards to choose from from, again, from the Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle. And I'll help you choose. We'll put a little uh, stone with it to see. Okay, so the three cards are gonna be the following. Think about your question. Here's the first card. the second card and there's the third card I'm going to give you a little um, crystal so the first card we have an amethyst heart 
The second card we have the howlite, blue howlite bird. And for the third card we have the rose quartz star. So look at those for a minute and um, whichever one your intuition um, draws you toward, that will be your card. All right, so concentrate again, concentrate on your yes, no question. And if you need to pause the video for a minute to do that, go right ahead. And when you're ready, we'll begin. So if you chose the first card with the amethyst heart, the answer is reconsider. Now I'm going to see what the, the um, book says about this. It's not really a book, but it... So if you get reconsider, it says, This card suggests that what you're hoping for or trying to achieve in the way that you're currently approaching it might not be the best outcome for you. Think again and consider a different option. Right? If you picked the second card with the blue howlite bird, it says, Choose a new direction. And if you got that one, it says, um, this card deals with your path or the direction you're taking. For example, let's say you've come to the cards because you're yearning to start your own business and you pull the choose a new direction card. Remember, this is not a no card, so there's more to the message. This card is calling you to dig deeper into the direction you're going and make sure you're making the best choices available to you on the path you've selected. This card may also be a call to look at the question you're asking. Do you keep pushing the divine for an answer you already know or have received but are refusing to accept? These cards can be very blunt when it comes to helping you face the truth. All right? And if you pick the third card, it says, Go. The time is right. And what it says there is... When you receive this card, it is encouraging you to take action now. There's no time like the present, so seize the moment. All right, Taurus, that was your reading for April 2023. If it was helpful or if you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. It's completely free for you and it helps me out a lot. I want you to know that I appreciate you more than you can even ever imagine. Um, I hope you'll check out the readings for your uh, moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign, if Taurus is your sun sign. And um, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.